Welcome everybody. My name is Pete Elman, and I'm here to talk a little bit about my upcoming class, and that will be for the winter session in January at the Freight and Salvage. We're doing some kind of a special thing for this class. We're calling it 10 Years Down the Road, and this is the first class I ever taught for Ollie, and the class is entitled Turn, 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 Part 1, a chronological and regional musical road trip through the golden era of rock and roll. 1955 to 1970. And it was 10 years ago exactly in January of 2015 that I did teach this, my original class for Ollie. And I have taught it since. I taught it at Lafayette. I taught it on Zoom, but it's been a while since I've taught it at the Freight. So we're all looking forward to doing it, and I hope you are too. So this course that we're going to do will cover the golden age of American rock and roll. It will be taught chronologically and geographically, hence a road trip across several regions, cities, plus a one-class exploration of a legend's 1965 rock and roll masterworks. This is where key American musical movements sprung up, where and when. The classes will be presented as a cultural and musical journey through those periods and places where that particular region or city was at the forefront of American popular music. The course will do this through several media. Most of you are familiar with my classes. I have a lecture. We have some really nice old photographs, recorded music, archival film clips of live shows, concert footage, and I should be able to do some question and answer in the class because unlike previous classes where it's just too many people, it's manageable, and so I'm going to appreciate everybody raising their hand in class, and same in the Zoom room. So we will be teaching this class hybrid, live at the freight, as well as online through Zoom. I will have some live music in the class. I play piano and guitar and sing. I'll have some guests, some of whom you've seen. And uh, we're going to choose appropriate examples from each genre and each week to perform. The class will be two hours long. We'll have a little five-minute stretch break in the middle. I'm going to break the course up chronologically and regionally. Each week will have its origin in a different region of the United States. New Orleans, Memphis, New York, back to Memphis, Detroit, and their final class is about Bob Dylan's 1965. So each session will have the lecture, it'll have the slideshow, we'll have the CD versions of songs, we'll have the videos, we'll have the live music, and it should be a lot of fun for all. Briefly, this is what we're gonna do each week, okay? Week one is gonna start predictably in New Orleans and the Deep South region, 1955 to 1960, the cradle of rock and roll, early rhythm and blues, the first wave, going as far back as Lead Belly, Robert Johnson at the Crossroads, early rhythm and blues of the 50s, such legendary stars as Fats Domino, Little Richard, Bo Diddley, and Chuck Berry, breaking down the themes and the nuts and bolts of rock and roll. And I've got some nice little charts and all kinds of little shows to that incorporate in that first week. I'm reading a book which is taken from the jazz series by Ken Burns right now, and it's, it's uncanny how important New Orleans was to the early popular music of this country. Week two, we go up the Big Muddy, the Mississippi River to Memphis, Tennessee, 1955 to 62. The rockabilly era, rhythm and blues meets country western, and as Levon Helm, the late great drummer of the band, said, the result was rock and roll. We're going to talk about Sun Studio and Elvis Presley and Sam Phillips, who found him, Buddy Holly, the wild rockabilly of the late Jerry Lee Lewis, Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran and Carl Perkins, Johnny Cash and the Everly Brothers, all gone but not forgotten. Week three, we go north to New York City. This is the period in between the rockabilly explosion and the British invasion, 1957 to 64. I call it the urbanization of rock and roll. The power returns to the publishers, labels, producers, and songwriters. And we break this up into three sections, basically. The singers, the great doo-wop groups, people like Solomon Burke, Ray Charles, Jackie Wilson, the Drifters, the Coasters, Sam Cooke, the Ronettes, and the Four Seasons. The second part of that class is about the producers and the record men, Phil Spector, Burt Burns, Jerry Wexler, and the great engineer Tom Dowd in Atlantic Records. And finally, we finish off that class talking about the, the wonder kind songwriters of the Brill Building. Carol King and Jerry Goffin, Lieber and Stoller, 
Ellie Greenwich and Jeff Berry, Neil Sedaka, Barry Mann and the late Cynthia Weil, Bert Backrack and Hal David. Week four, we're going to double back to Memphis and point south, where we're going to talk about Memphis Soul and Stax Volt and Muscle Shoals. And we'll talk about Booker T and the MGs and Otis Redding and Wilson Pickett and the early Aretha Records and James Brown and even the great British singer Dusty Springfield and the power of race blind music. Week five, I call migration to Motown. But so we're just gonna talk about really the roots of Motown in week five, how a little house in Detroit became Hitsville, the sound of young America, hallowed ground for pop music. And we'll touch on some little known facts about Barry Gordy and Smokey Robinson, the Temptations of the Four Tops, the Supreme Stevie Wonder et al. Now the final week is very special. I decided that it was very important to talk about uh, this particular person and what he did that really transformed the music business in rock and roll. And that's called On the Road with Bob Dylan and the Band, 1965, from a Buick Six. Bob was the poet laureate, you know, of rock and roll's classic trilogy of rock albums, recorded in New York City and Nashville, and his legendary backing band, the Americana Trailblazers, the band. So I hope everybody can make it. It's going to be a fun six weeks. Uh, tell all your friends, and I look forward to seeing everybody.